So we've assembled a group of students here. We have concert pitch instruments, B-flat instrument, E-flat instrument, and we're gonna show you how Jazz Deck will transpose for you. So as the teacher, you're just giving directive instruction instead of going through the chemistry and the math and the theory behind what the students are playing. They have it right in front of them and they can learn while they play. Okay, we're taking a look at the song, Take the A-Train, line two, measure one. Students, pull up the red card that matches the first chord of line two. E-flat instruments have a B minor seven. B-flat instruments have E minor seven. Concert pitch has D minor seven. Put it on your stand. Let's use our language. Name the chord and spell one, three, five, seven. Go. D minor seven. D A C A E. Perfect. So we have three sets of notes happening at once. The students take care of it. I, as the teacher, don't need to be doing everything three times on the board. Students, let's arpeggiate the red notes up and down three times from the root. Ready, one and two and ready and go and. Take the bottom note and put it on top. You're gonna to start on the third. This is called first inversion. Two and ready and go and. Once more, put the third on top, start on the fifth. This is called second inversion. Two and ready and go and. Etc. We go through this process with each chord in the progression. Students, the second chord of the song of this line is a dominant chord. Pull out the green card that matches chord number two on line number two. Pull it up. Use your language, name it, spell it. Go. A7, A, G, 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 D, F. Perfect. Let's arpeggiate the green notes up and down three times from the root. One and two and ready and go and. Great. Students, there is a major chord on measure three. Pull up the blue card that matches the major chord and hold it in the air. Again, you see it's pitched three times. Name it, spell one, three, five, seven. Go. D, C major seven, C, F, G, A, B, C sharp. Perfect. Now let's arpeggiate the blue notes up and down three times. One and two and ready and go and. From the third and ready and go and. Another exercise I like to have students do as part of the warm-up, but I'll have them do it over each chord. We'll do it on the blue chord right now. At your maximum speed, on the full range of your horn, play the notes on the blue card. Piano players, octaves, both hands. Your lowest note of that blue set to your highest note on your instrument, and really try and build your speed. You have 30 seconds, we'll do 10 seconds for the video. Ready, set, go. Keep going, keep going. Piano player. Go. Flute player. This helps students get acclimated to that set of tones throughout the full range of their instrument. And you do it through the chord progressions. The chromatics exist on the red cards between the first and the third and the fifth and the seventh. And I tell the students to zip through chromatics. Don't think about the notes in between. If you ask me to walk over there and, and, and take a hat, my, my brain doesn't go left, right, left, right. It goes, I'm here, I get the hat, and I come back. Let's look at the red notes, please, and you're gonna play this. Ba ba da 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 da, ba ba da 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 da, playing that chromatic between the root and third twice. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Ba ba da 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 da, 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 ba ba da da
Again. Great. There's also a chromatic between the fifth and the seventh. Do, da, do, 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 da, twice. One, two, ready, play. Again. Great. Now we can do the chromatics together and you go like this. From the root to the third. Sing it and. Play it on your instrument. One, two, do, 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 one, two, ready, and. Final word on the chromatics on the red notes, red cards. The chromatics exist between the root and the third and the fifth and the seventh on the edges. Same with on the green cards, between the root and the third and the, and the top two notes. On the blue and the yellow cards, we're playing a major seven. There's a chromatic third in the middle. There's a minor third, and that's where we're going to play the chromatics. We'll show you what that sounds like. Here we go, students. This green card that we've been working on, play the chromatic run and the minor third on the bottom. da 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 one, two, ready, and. Great, there's a chromatic between the top two notes. Do, 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 da, do, do, de, de, da, da, de, da, de, dom. Ready, two, ready, and. Excellent, the major chord, the blue card, put it in the middle. One, Two, ready, and. A nice thing about Jazz Deck is you can teach voice leading to an entire group all at once. Here we go. Students, we're going to move red, green, blue, minor seven, dominant seven, major seven. Grab any red note and play this rhythm. Da, 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 da. Switch to the closest green. Da, 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 da. Switch to the closest blue. Da, 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 da. We'll do the blue twice. Ready? One, two, red, go. Green. Blue twice. Great. So then I'll have the students start on each of the four red notes. And it doesn't matter who starts where, as long as they get through each of the four. So start on a different note this time. Ready? Two, ready, and. Start on a different note. Go. Then we take this idea of combining the full range of the instrument per chord, the chromatic little spaces in the minor thirds, and the voice leading, and we start to put it together so the students can practice building a logical solo. Here's how we do that. Full range of your instrument with the minor third slips. You're going to solo for one measure on the red card. When I hold up my hands, hold whatever note you're on. It'll be on the end of four. When I lift and drop my hands, go to the closest note on the green card. Ready? Four beats of red. Use the chromatics, use your full range, four beats. One and two, a three, four. Hold. Closest green. You're going to start on that note, same thing, full range. Use the chromatic explorations and hold a green note. Start on that note. Two, ready, green. Hold. Closest blue. From that note, soloing for two measures, full range exploring chromatics. Two measures of blue. Two, ready, go.
Excellent. You get the idea? Now I'm not going to talk. We're still going to do the holds. Red, two, red, and. Switch to green. Solo, go. Hold green. Switch blue. Solo blue. So we do that over and over. Let the students practice that at home. They know what to do at home. And then you do it in time. And what I like to do is have the whole group take a solo, and then an individual plays a solo. Then the whole group takes a solo, and the individual. This allows uh, everyone to practice, and it also allows you as a teacher to monitor an individual achievement and give feedback that's very specific to each student. Here we go. Two, five, one. Everyone will play, then we'll go to the alto. Ready? One, two, one measure each. Here we go. Red. Red. Resolution right there. All together, ready? 